Okay. Hello. Sorry, I just now got some problem. Huh? Now can see the the paper or not? Serena? Serena, can you hear me? Wen Kang, can you hear me? Hmm. Can, uh, can see the paper or not? Wen Kang. Hmm. Can, uh, okay, let's uh, continue. Uh, Kian Ming, I want to confirm with you. You can hear, can see or not? Can. Can, uh, okay, we move on. Uh, okay, so the... Just now, I think got the network got some problem, you know, reconnect. Yeah. Right, the inference. First question now, uh, inference. How to write the inference? Eh? Inference, you must write what depends on what here. What is depends on what? Okay. What depends on what? <laughs> Can Ming ah? Can Ming, are you there? I think got some problem, I don't know why the eyes. Okay, the first question, the inference are, uh, inference here is, okay, the answer is here, you can see the inference answer, okay. The brightness of the lamp depends on the speed of the bicycle, okay. This is the first answer you can write. Uh. We always use the word uh, depends on, the brightness of the lamp depends on the speed of the bicycle, okay. Yeah. The brightness of the lamp depends on the speed. Okay, another answer you can write now uh, is this one, you know. The magnitude of induced current depends on the rate of change of magnetic flux. This one is a better answer. Uh. I suggest uh, you follow this answer. This is a better answer, okay? This answer is better. The magnetic field, the magnitude of induced current depends on the rate of change of magnetic flux. This one is better answer, okay? Rate of change of magnetic flux means uh, how fast the magnetic, magnetic flux being cut, la, understand? So this is a better answer, okay? Please follow this answer, okay? The magnetic or induced current depends on the rate of change of magnetic flux, okay? Okay, yeah? right. So next one is hypothesis. Hypothesis, uh, how to write answer? Hypothesis. Hypothesis. Okay. Can Ming? Can Ming, are you there? Can Ming, uh, can you hear me? Or can Ming? Yes. Can Ming, uh, can you try to give an uh, answer for hypothesis? Hypothesis is like this one. The higher the what, the higher the what, like that. Okay, so what answer you want to give? The higher the speed of bicycle, the brighter the brightness of the lamp. Yes. Okay. Uh, this boy give this answer, you know. This answer is more suitable for inference. La. Actually, on inference, la, you can write what you see, you know. But for hypothesis, la, I don't suggest that you give, you write what you see, you know. Mean, example, you see the bicycle, right? Hypothesis are uh, don't write what you see already. Okay. For example, uh, don't use the word the bicycle. Uh. Okay, so the answer for hypothesis is like this. So you say the higher the rate 
of chains of magnetic flux you all right now the higher the rate of chains of magnetic flux the higher the rate of chains of magnetic flux the higher the magnitude of induced current the whole sentence is like this lah. the higher the rate of chains of magnetic flux the higher the magnitude of induced current okay got it now okay everyone got it or not you want you want you you can answer right yes sir got it now okay come we move on to the next one with the use of apparatus such as connection wire power magnet solenoid describe an experiment okay you can answer this one first aim aim what to write for aim aim always use a keyword to investigate the relationship okay so you write to investigate the relationship between to investigate the relationship between between what and what you refer to your hypothesis lah, between what and what to investigate the relationship between the rate of chains of magnetic flux and the magnitudes of induced current okay to investigate the relationship between the rate of chains of magnetic flux and the magnitudes of induced current got it now got the answer or not selena selena yes, sir. do you get the answer yes can you read read out your answer selena to investigate the relationship between the rate of change of magnetic magnetic flux and the magnitude of induced current yes okay very good okay next uh, variable okay this one okay i want you to look back to your paper okay actually we already discussed this experiment one you know now i want you to learn how to write it out that's all okay it's already, it's already inside your paper one we discussed already the other day okay now it's here this experiment okay remember this or not yeah so it's here the hypothesis are uh, apparatus are uh, okay whatever is here now nah. okay whatever is you start with manipulated variable manipulated variable you write this answer the height h the height this one is manipulated variable manipulated variable you write this answer now nah. the height comma h then responding variable you write this answer the magnitude of induced current okay responding variable is magnitude of induced current these two the ballet huh? and the third one is fixed variable fixed variable you write the number of tons of solenoid number of tons of solenoid must be constant and the strength of the magnet the strength of the magnet also must stay constant huh? so these two are the constant variable huh? Okay. All right. Now you see uh, roughly the diagram is like that. Okay. Now diagram. Huh? So what you do is like this, you know. This is a solenoid. So you drop the magnet. So the ma magnet carry magnetic flux, isn't it? Surrounding the magnet got magnetic flux. So the, when the magnet drop, so this magnetic flux cut by the wire. So you induce current here. You can see the galvanometer. What is the current, right? Okay. Then I want to make it faster. Faster means uh, I drop the magnet from a higher place. This I I control the height. I control the height where the magnet drop. Okay. So we start with uh, let's say you see uh, start with five cm, then ten cm. Okay, meaning that uh, the height start with five cm. 5 cm you drop it you see what is the current okay after that increase the height to 10 cm when higher you drop uh, it will go faster isn't it it drop faster when drop faster means uh, cutting magnetic flux become more or cutting magnetic flux become higher so you see the current here lah. okay uh? that is 
roughly about half our experiment is this one uh, I repeat many times to you already. You know, this experiment very important one now. Huh? Okay. Okay, next. These are characters. Okay, this one you can copy that. Huh? Sensitive zero, zero center counter. What is zero center counter? Counter is something like watt meter or m meter. La. Then why we say zero center? Le? Okay, zero center means uh, the counter is like that one, the meter. La. The zero is start at the center one. Zero is here. So the pointer point. Before you start at the pointer point to zero, no? zero center. So here is one. Ooh, like that. So here also got one, got two, got three, one, you know. So center at a zero. Left got one, two, three. Right also got one, two, three. Okay. So this is called zero center counter. Understand? Huh? Zero center counter. Huh? Okay. Why we use a zero center counter? Huh? Because uh, the, sometimes the current direction can, can change one. So Chain direction means uh, the pointer sometimes can point to the left, sometimes can point to the right. So must use zero center counter. Lah. Understand that? Huh? So I talk a lot already. I hope you understand. Huh? Okay. Right. Next. Diagram. Okay. Diagram. I think uh, I don't want you to draw now. Like you draw later. Lah, huh? Diagram. Please remember. Huh? You have the diagram on the paper, but that's not enough. You know, please practice drawing on your foolscap paper. Practice draw the diagram. Okay, practice uh, make perfect. Uh, okay, remember that. Draw the diagram. Uh. Okay. Next is procedure. Okay, procedure. We have to modify a little bit from here, lah. Uh. Okay, procedure first. Ah, uh, you say the height of magnet above the solenoid measured by a ruler. Then comma put there h equal five cm. So we started with five cm lah, the height five cm. Okay. Uh, then second step, the magnet is dropped into the solenoid, and the reading of counter meter recorded are uh, this one. You don't know the value. You can just say the reading of the counter meter is recorded. That's it. Okay. And then finally, repetition. The experiment repeated five times with different height of the magnet above the solenoid. Example, okay, write it down. 10 cm, 15 cm, 20, 25, and 30 cm. Must give example, you know. You cannot just stop here, like you must write 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 cm. That is very important, huh? Okay? All right. Table. Last one is tabulation of data. Okay, your table, my suggestion is uh, always uh, give table in vertical, okay? Vertical table like that. Follow vertical table. Uh. Don't use horizontal table, use a vertical one, okay? On the left, copy here, lo. H. H is here. H slash centimeter okay centimeter la. here i the current la. in a millimeter okay milli ampere sorry milli ampere use this table la. h put here i put here okay and finally the way you analyze your data which is a graph line you show the graph okay graph is like that this line actually you don't need to draw line so put there i against H, manual plated is here, responding is here, okay? Always put responding variable here and the manual plated variable here, okay? That's it now. So we have finished this experiment now, okay? All right, you can take your time to complete your answer, okay? By referring to the paper, lah, huh? okay? You can copy later, lah, okay? Right. I want to close this one already. We have to start something new, huh? okay? So far, everyone can hear, can listen or not, can listen, can hear, can see what I show here or not. Liao, can or not? Can. Can, uh? 
Because just now my network here, I think got some problem. I don't know why you automatically restart. Then restart takes so long. Okay. Okay. Now our lesson continue. Uh, but now I want to start doing some revision. Some uh, because you you don't have the opportunity to sit for your mid year exam. You know. Okay. Actually, the media exam is very important for you all, you know, huh? but you have no chance to sit for the media exam. Okay. Okay, now, did you all print out the set of uh, media paper I, I, I share with you all? One? Did you all print out the paper or not? This paper. This set of paper, like, did you all print out this or not? You have this paper with you? One or not? You want, you want to, you have this paper or not? Yes. Got uh, some very hard working one got print now, print now. Uh, huh? Okay. I hope everyone you got this paper with you. Okay. For those who don't have the paper, you didn't print out one. I mean, due to certain reason, you didn't print out. Okay, but at least uh, please uh, take a piece of paper. Uh, this one cannot print, so no printer. I understand some of you got problem. Uh, huh? Don't worry, you don't have the paper now. Never print out now. My is in your handphone or in your computer, right? Okay, but most important, copy down the answer. Okay, copy down the answer. Okay, take a piece of full scrap paper, copy down the answer. Okay, huh? okay now. Question number one. This one is your form four, chapter two. Chapter two question, you know. Diagram shows a trolley on a straight track. A straight track is a trolley. Huh? The trolley moves from P to Q, uh, P to Q here. And then from Q to R, the mean, uh, start from here, you know. The trolley moves from P to Q. Then we pushing ballet Q to R, like that. Okay, move from P to Q and then Q to R. Okay. Yeah. Diagram 1.2 show the displacement time graph. I ah, see this is a graph long. I see the graph why go up, then after that go down one. Ah, you must understand, you know, why it's like that. Ah. Okay, let me explain to you. Ah. This is a starting point. Okay, starting point is a P, you know, you start here. Starting point uh, means uh, the displacement uh, S uh, is zero. It's zero start from here, uh, starting point. So it move, move to the right. When it move to the right side, right, it's considered positive. So it's positive, so it go up now, uh, positive. Eight meter, reach until eight meter, you know. Okay, eight meter. Okay, eight meter lah. The sign here is because it's positive. Right hand side is positive, so it go up eight meter. And after that, go back. Go back here lah. Eight meter. Eight meter means you change direction already, you know. Change direction. When change direction, lah, you go down, lor. Okay. Okay, from here to here. Five second, okay. Okay, but now you see uh, from eight, right? He go back, right? So the displacement now uh, you will drop and you go back to zero. Okay. Okay, what is the meaning of that? Uh? Okay, come, let me explain. We are talking about displacement, you know. Displacement means uh, the distance from the starting point. Okay, starting point is here, here, uh? so eight meter, so you go up meter, right? Positive direction. Then after that, opposite direction, it come back. When move in opposite direction, uh, it move, actually it's going back to the starting point, right not? When going back to the starting point, uh, so actually the displacement uh, become smaller, 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 until here, it becomes zero. Okay? When, come, when you move back to here already, displacement becomes zero. So this are here, displacement zero, no? Not here, is it go back to zero? So here, 
zero to eight positive, and then when come closer, come back, we go back to the starting point. So the displacement drop from eight, six, four, two, zero. Ah, here here becomes zero already, lah. Displacement is zero. Okay, this this one is time, you know, ah, not not the distance, ah, it's time. Okay, then after that, move to the left side is negative, negative displacement, negative zero, one, two, three, and you five. Okay, this side here you see negative until negative five. Okay, so it move to the right, move to the left. Okay, left will change direction lah. Okay ah, so understand already ah. So now question, complete the sentence by underline. Okay, which answer is correct? The trolley take how long to move from P to Q? Anliao, take how long move from P to Q? Anliao, Liao ah, Anliao, can you answer? Take how long to move from P to Q? Five seconds. Yes, correct. Five. Here, no? P to Q mean eight. Eight meter, right? So here, eight meter here. So it's five second. Okay, five second. Ah, huh? so this answer is five second. Okay. Okay. B. What is the displacement of trolley when it is at R? What is the displacement of the trolley when it is at R? Here. What is the answer? The question asks, what is the displacement when it is at R? Okay. This is a starting point, remember lah. To the left is negative, to the right is positive. So what is the answer? What is the displacement when it is at R? Tan Ching Hong, Tan Ching Hong, are you there? Ah, Tan Ching Hong. No sound, okay, Wen Kang. Wen Kang, are you there? Ah, Wen Kang. Yes. Can you tell me now what is the displacement when it is at R? Negative five. Negative five. Yes, correct. Negative five. So must put negative five. Okay. Meter. Okay. Negative five. Nah. It's negative five. You know. See here. Here to here to the left. So negative five. Nah. Displacement always uh, count the distance between the starting point and the ending point. Starting point is here, ending point is here. So it's negative five, okay? Okay, now C, calculate the velocity when it's moved from P to Q. Find the velocity moving from P to Q, uh. okay? So how to find the velocity when moving from P to Q? P to Q means it's here, lor. How to find velocity? Uh, to find velocity, we find gradient. Okay, remember that. Uh, find gradient. Okay, you want to find velocity, you find gradient. Gradient, so you take y divided by x. So here is 8. Here is 5. So the gradient is 8 over 5. Nah. Eight over five now. Nah. Understand? So the velocity is eight divided by five. You find the gradient, okay? Ah, yeah, this color lah. Nah. I know who did it a lot, but I don't want to name it out only because our uh, last video I went check the video back. Uh, I saw the name appear. Those who John Ting one and the name can come out one, you know. Ah, don't make me angry. I call your name, ah. I know who are you, you know. So please stop it, ah. Okay. Don't do it. You do it. I will call you. you know, I will call your name because I know who you are. Okay. Who did it? Because I saw already. Yeah.
Okay, next. So the answer here is eight divided by five. Okay, eight divided by five, nah. Gradient, nah. Eight divided by five. Eight divided by five. Okay. So the answer. Okay, come by. I check to show you the answer, lah, huh? Ah, yeah, the answer is here. Eight over five. So it's one point six. Okay. All right. Next. Okay, question number two. Okay, read the question. Huh? Diagram show a stopwatch. This is a stopwatch, right? And the reset knob. The knob is here. Huh? Diagram show the reading of stopwatch when it used to measure the time for 20 complete oscillation made by a simple pendulum. Okay. This one is before you measure anything, you see the pointer already not center, you know, it means got zero error. Okay. And this one is a reading after 20 complete oscillation, you get this reading. Okay. Understand now? Now the question, what types of error? This is what error? The error is zero error, okay? Zero error. Zero error, nah? And then what is the reading here? The next question, this is zero error, nah? Then what is the actual time taken to complete 20? Okay, what is this reading? Can someone tell me what is this reading? What is this reading, nah? Okay, before this uh, class, because they ask you to find the actual time, isn't it? The actual one. Okay, so you have to consider the zero error. You must minus the zero error, correct? Not? Okay, this reading uh, gives what zero error? Can you tell me this zero error is positive or negative? Uh, okay, the zero error uh, you count from here, from center here, uh, is three section. Three section, nine, only three, right? Three section here, lah. So three means uh, is three is zero point. Here to here is one, is it a uh, one? One, two, three, four, five means zero point two, lah. Zero point two, zero point four, zero point six, zero point eight, zero point one. So three division means uh, zero point six, right? The zero error is zero point. Six. Remember, no, three, three boxes. Huh? Zero error means find the difference between the center and here. It's three, zero point six. But now it's positive or negative. You remember, not zero error got positive, negative one. So this positive or negative? Okay, it's positive or negative. Uh, you think of like this, you know. When the pointer is like this, uh, it will make your reading become smaller or become bigger. Eh? You see, if the pointer is here before you start, so when you get a reading later on, uh, your reading becomes smaller or become bigger. It will make your reading become smaller or bigger. Uh, it will smaller. make your, your reading will become bigger or smaller? Smaller. smaller. Yes, correct, smaller. It becomes smaller by 0 0.6, isn't it? So when it becomes smaller means that when you do correction, you must, you must make it bigger, right? So you must minus negative. Okay? You must minus negative, then become plus 0 0.6, isn't it? So meaning that uh, this zero error is negative. Negative, you know. Why I put negative? Because uh, I want the answer later on become bigger, ma, because the answer is smaller, right? So you must put negative lah because we always minus zero error one minus negative so become plus right uh, okay yeah so zero error is negative zero point six uh, what about this reading this reading is how much nineteen point something right nineteen point nineteen point how much ah uh, zero point 
And this 19.4 is definitely not correct because of the zero error, right? So the correct value should be 19.4 minus negative 0 0.6. Now you put here, uh, the actual one should be 19.4 minus negative 0 0.6. The zero error just now, uh, then you get the answer. Okay, got it. Yeah, understand now, you all. You want, do you understand? Ah, you want? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, now, okay, next one. Calculate the period of one complete oscillation. Okay, find the period for one oscillation. So how to calculate? You take this answer. This answer is what, 20, right? 20.0, correct not? So you take 20.0 divide by, divide by how many? You read the question, 20 oscillation, right? So divide by 20, la. so divide by 20. So you get answer 1.0 second, the period is one. La. Okay. 1.0 second. Okay, huh? Okay or not? Okay. Next one. Uh, read the, you read the question first. Read, huh? The acceleration due to gravity, you, when you want to find gravity, right, use this formula, 4 pi square L over T square. L is a length. T is a period. Using the value of T, the T is 1, isn't it? L0.25, calculate the acceleration. So you just uh, substitute law. Substitute 4 pi square L is L0.25. So put here, T, the period was just now, I think, uh, one second, correct not? Okay, you calculate. What is the answer? Please tell me what is the answer. Now, what answer law? Oh, here lah. He showed lah. See the answer here lah. Huh? 20, so one second. Uh, 4 pi square this L. Okay, so you get 9.87. Okay, so the answer is 9.87. Huh? Got it or not? Okay, one can see or not? Can see the answer or not? Can, sir. Can uh -huh. Can you all hear me or not? Liao, can hear me or not, Liao? Can. Can I? Okay, next question. Ah, you all read the question first. This one is a form five chapter. Okay. Form five chapter, you have just learned one. Those are the, the boy now who chanting, chanting one now. Please uh, stop now. Don't do it. Uh, because people already know one, you know. Okay. Because I click there now. Show the, the person who annotated, who got uh, the name come on, you know. So people who watch the pre the last lesson video carefully now, uh, you can see the name of the person appear, you know. Yeah, the, name of the person or the name came out okay so we already know who who was the culprit actually i really disappointed with this boy okay he did that okay i'm very close with the boy one but i don't know why he did that man. i feel very disappointed okay okay come question number three Diagram shows an electric circuit, okay? Three identical dry cell, okay, here, dry cell, nah? three and the identical bulb. Okay, you see the bulb connected like this, nah? can anyone tell me that uh, this bulb connected in series or parallel? 
the series of parallel lah. Tanyun si, the bulb connected in series of parallel. Ah, Tanyun si. Parallel. Yes, parallel connected in parallel, right? Okay. So the answer parallel, right? Straight away parallel lah. Okay, next. Draw an electric circuit diagram using appropriate symbol. You need to draw a diagram. No? I tell you why you draw three dry cell, three bulb connected in parallel, and a switch. Okay? So I think the answer no. They never show answer. Okay, now my. Draw it here. Lah, huh? okay, like this. Huh? Make it very simple. Lah. Okay, uh, first you draw the three dry cell law. So one, two, my line not so straight, you draw properly. Lah, huh? And then, yeah, the switch you put here. Okay, switch. Huh? And then, one, one bow here. This is one bow. Okay. Bow number two. Because it's parallel, isn't it? And number three, put here, okay? And then you join it up here, okay? Huh? Bow had to put a cross, like put X here, okay? So this is bow, okay? It's like that. So this is tri cell. This is a switch. This is bow, one, two, three, connected in parallel, huh? okay? Can you do that? I think you know. Yeah, two marks. You draw diagram like this are two marks, you know. Using appropriate symbol. Symbol for cell, symbol for switch, symbol for the bow. Okay. What is now? Okay, next. Compare the brightness of JKL when the switch is pressed. Uh, the brightness. When the switch is pressed, mean you on the switch, lah. Okay. Compare the brightness JKL. So how do you think? How do you think the brightness? Ah. Huh? Let me see the name because I I only see a few in front only. Oh. Jayin, Jayin, lah. Are you there, lah? Jayin, Tan Jayin. Yeah. Angelina, can you compare the brightness JKL? So what answer? The brightness yeah. of these three bulb. Equal. Yes, all equal because parallel ma. When you connect in parallel, are all same one. Because this bulb receive full voltage. This bulb also full voltage. This bulb also. Parallel means that you receive the full voltage. So let's say the voltage here is four point five volt now. So this bulb get four point five. This part also 4.5. This part also 4.5 one, you know, no share out one. Nah. When connected in parallel, lah, all same voltage one. So the brightness are all same. Lah. So the answer is equal. This answer. Huh? Give one reason. Nah. What reason you want to give? Many of you type here. Lah. I want to see what you all type here. Nah. Equal, I mean gentle equal. Uh, your this fellow want to play some more. Gentle equal. You need this very finally talk now. Yeah. So what reason you want to give Harry Young? Ah, Harry Young answer, please. Harry Young ah. Uh, ah yes. Can you answer? Give one reason why the brightness are equal. Ah. Huh? What answer? Harry Young, please. Yeah. Only thing one I already explained what just now. Why? Why the brightness? Because of parallel. Yes, correct. Okay. So the answer is because the bows are connected in parallel. parallel. Okay. Yes. The bows are connected in parallel. Connected in parallel. Uh, maybe you can give further answer. Maybe like this how you see the answer here. Then you can see everyone receive the full voltage, long, same voltage. Huh? 
Okay. You connect it in parallel means uh, you get the same voltage. Okay, follow this answer also can. Uh. Connect it in parallel so you get same voltage and also same current. Okay, understand? Uh? Okay, thank you. Okay, next one. Explain why the types of connection in diagram 3 used in the house lightning circuit are. Ah. Why in our house are? Ah? In the house, our house wiring system are all connected in parallel one, you know. Why? We only to explain why the types of connection in diagram 3 used in the house lightning circuit. What is the advantage of connected them in parallel? You must write now. So the answer, okay, fast lah. Let me see the answer straight away lah. The answer is, the one bulb blows, the other bulb are not affected. That is the advantage lah. In other words, means ah, uh, when you connect the bulbs in parallel, right? So the bulb can switch on and off separately, individually, just like your house ah. Uh, you want to go to your room, you can just on the light inside your room. So the light in the kitchen, you don't need to on. Correct? Right? So can switch on and off individually. Okay, that is a reason. Now. One bulb blows, the other bulb are not affected, still can be used. Now. That is the reason in our house, we use parallel system. Now. Okay, question number four. Read the question. I let you read first. Read, are you already? Okay. Yeah. Matter P, 100 degree, place in the picker. Okay, you put it here. When you place a metal 100 degree inside the picker, you will heat up the water, isn't it? After some time, thermal equilibrium achieved, you see, huh? the moment you put the ball inside the water, right, the temperature is start from 80, uh, 28. Then it go up, go up, go up, go up until 40 degree. Uh, after 40 degree, huh, it become constant. Okay, so it will heat up the water until 40 degree. Huh? Okay, when the water reaches 40 degrees, uh, so it becomes constant. You understand? Uh? Okay, now answer the question. What is the meaning of thermal equilibrium? Please, uh, if you don't know this answer, you better memorize it. What is thermal equilibrium? Uh, I think many of you don't know the answer one. Because why? You never study. Correct? Not? Uh? Okay, let me ask and say simply choose one to answer, see whether I can answer one or not. Uh, Avril, Avril Ong, are you there? Avril? Uh, yes. Avril, can yeah. you tell me what is thermal equilibrium? The net Hi. heat flow is zero. Ah, yes, very good. Huh? But there are two conditions now. One is net heat flow zero, and another one is what? Huh? Net heat flow zero, correct? Huh? Another one is what? Um, both objects are at same temperature. Wow, very good. Like, April, like, I believe you study very hard. Uh, April, congratulations. Uh, thank study you. Hard. <laughs> good, good, yeah, good. Okay, now check the answer. Okay. Two objects have net heat flow, have no net heat flow, mean the net heat flow zero. Lah. Between them and also you give one answer can already lah. Two objects at thermal equilibrium have no net flow means ah uh, the net heat flow is zero lah. Or you can say two objects at thermal equilibrium having the same temperature also can. Okay. Yeah. The next. What is the temperature when thermal equilibrium? Reach. Okay, you can see it all. You see, right? 40, right? Because when you reach 40 already, uh, the temperature constant already. Ma. Constant means uh, already reach thermal equilibrium. Uh, so it's 40 degree. Uh. Okay, so this one is 40. Next, what is the purpose of wrapping the picker with a layer of cotton? Uh, why put cotton here? 
why need to wrap this speaker use cotton harness mana you harness ada situ ka harness Yes, sir. Now, why we you wrap it with cotton here? Why? Huh? Uh, For what? Uh, the heat is not really. What? Honey, say it again. Why need to wrap it with cotton? The heat is not really. Yes, correct. We don't want heat loss. Uh. We don't want the heat loss come up to the surrounding night. So the answer is to prevent heat loss. Uh. Okay, now uh, you can see the answer. Uh. Anna, dear. Reduce heat loss to the surrounding. Okay, reduce heat loss to the surrounding. Uh. Reduce heat loss. Okay, remember this answer. Uh. You want to reduce the heat loss to the surrounding. So this why you cover up. Okay, reduce heat loss. All right, next. Calculate the specific heat capacity. Ah, how to find spe uh, specific heat capacity of the metal? Okay, you are using formula. Lah. Heat from the heater, right? The heater got power given or not? No power given no. They ask you to calculate heat capacity of metal. Okay. So how to find? MC theta. MC theta. MC theta can can you find the C ah? Just using MC theta can find can find the C. They are asked to find latent heat or you say I don't know. Specific capacity. I think the question is stupid. Nah? Specific capacity water 4000. Okay, what is the specific capacity of P? Okay, I'll tell you what. This question, nah, okay, never mind, we do slowly. Nah, today. Because uh, Hari Raya want to come already, so we do slowly. Okay, don't do it so fast. Okay. So what happens is like this, you know, this ball is hot one. When you put it inside here, nah, the hot ball will release heat. Release heat. Then the water will absorb heat, right? Okay, so actually you start like this, you know. Uh, I put here, uh, heat release. I cannot write that the problem is heat release. Uh, you put there M1, C1, and theta 1. I put 1 is heat release, uh, released by the hot ball. Heat release is MC theta, but you put 1 equal to heat absorbed by the water also mc theta but you put two la m c theta so you put two or two here okay mc theta so m m1 c1 theta 1 equal m2 c2 theta 2 understand heat release equal to heat absorbed that is the assumption released by the hot metal ball Absorbed by the water. Okay, huh? and now you do yourself, can or not? M1 is a mass of metal ball. What is the mass of the metal ball? 0 0.2. I uh, don't know. The ball is what is the mass of the ball? The mass of the metal P and the water. Okay, metal P 0 0.4, uh, water 0 0.2. Okay. So here, 0 0.4. And then this is water. Water is 0 0.2 kilo. Okay. C1, you are asked to find C1. Okay, C1 don't know. Then the talent change in temperature. How many degree? What is the change in temperature of the ball? Can mean what is the change in temperature of the metal ball? 60. Yes. From 100, right? 100, it dropped to finally 40. So it's 60 degree, correct? So here's 60, okay? I cannot write your right, uh, 60. Yeah. And then MC theta. This is specific capacity for water. So you know, uh, 4,200. Okay. 
right? And theta, what about the change in temperature of water? What is the change in temperature of water? Huh? What is the change in temperature of water? La? Wei Xiang, Wei Xiang, are you there? Now? Wei Xiang, what is the change in temperature of water? And your thumb, what is the change in temperature of yeah. water? Huh? 12. 12. Uh. Is it 12? Yes, yeah, from 28 go up to 40. So the change in temperature is 12, correct? Okay, it's 12. Uh. Uh, then you calculate, you get a C1. Uh. So, so the answer is, okay, you see the answer here. I hope the answer all correct, huh? I think it's correct, huh? Oh. So it's four two zero. Four two zero joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. Okay, huh? Let's check with the answer. The answer correct, not some some sometimes uh, this answer is not correct, huh? Four two zero joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. Okay, huh? Okay, next. They ask you assumption. State the assumption you make. Okay, what is the meaning of this question? Now? What is the meaning of the question? State the assumption of the question of this you have made. What is the assumption? What is the meaning? Now? Always you get this. Yeah, what is that? State the assumption now. it means what now? Okay, what Assumption means uh, what you assume now, uh, what you assume it happen. Okay. In Basel, we say Andayan, Apoka Andayan Anda. Okay. What is your assumption? Our assumption here we say now uh, heat released by the hot ball equal to heat absorbed by the water. Meaning that uh, we assume uh, all the heat released by the hot ball absorbed by the water, you know, no heat loss to the surrounding. That is our assumption. So the assumption is no heat loss to the surrounding. Okay. Write out the answer. We assume uh, no heat loss to the surrounding. Then only you can write M1 C1 theta 1 equal M2 C2 theta 2. If not, uh, you don't make the assumption, you cannot write. You cannot write they are equal. Okay. Okay, next question. Yeah, number five. Uh, this one is from four. What topic is it? From four one, this one, angel time. What topic one? Uh, angel. Angel. Uh. What topic one? I forget. Forget. Uh, you see the diagram? No. Uh, what topic? Ah. <laughs> uh? Chapter five. Light. Yes. Uh, very good. Uh. Who is this? Uh? Whose voice is that? I cannot see. Yes, chapter five, light. This is light. Now you see the light, my correct no? So it's light, chapter five, huh? Okay, now the question. Diagram shows a ray of light entering from A into liquid A from A, go to liquid A. Okay. See that? From A, go inside this liquid, I bend, you know. It bend now, we call it refraction. Remember or not? When the light bend now, we call it refraction r e f r a c refraction and then here also the same show the ray of light entering a into liquid b uh, this one bend more this one bend less actually uh, why why this one bend less this one bend more eh? why this one refracted less this one refracted more you know something must know you know why eh? let me ask you all first la. Why this one, okay, back to the basis first. Uh, why the light will bend? Eh? Why it will bend is because change in the velocity, change in velocity, because change in density. Okay, I said it again. Uh, the light will refract or will bend is because change in the speed. Here the light moves very fast. When it go inside tensor medium, uh, this one is tensor, you know, so it becomes slower. Become slower so it will start to bend. In fact, 
So the reason of bending is because of change in velocity. Lah. Why got change in the velocity? Because you move from less than to denser medium. Okay. Same thing is here. Lah. Same thing here also. Change in velocity happen. Here very fast, here become very slow. When slow, so it will bend. Okay. Why bend? Because density higher than here. This is denser. Okay, now the question is, uh, why this one bend more, this one bend less? Ne? Why? The reason simple is because this liquid density higher than this liquid. Higher density means uh, the light will bend more one, you know. This is higher density. This one less density. Understand? Okay. Uh, this question, I need to make some changes. Uh. This value, so I put the put it here, okay? And this one, this one, uh, put it here. Can you do the changes? It's supposed to be this one move faster. So 2.25 is here. Less than, uh, less than you move faster. This one tensor, you move slower. So this two, and 10 power, this one come here, so please change the speed. This one go here, this one go here, then we correct now. Okay. This one tensor, tensor means it move very, very slow. So this one slow, put here. This one less than, so you move faster. Okay. You understand what I say or not? Can Ming, do you understand? Uh, can Ming uh, understand me? Yes. Or not? Yes. Understand? Uh? Okay, now question one. Compare the speed of light in liquid medium with the speed of light in the A. A faster in the liquid, slower, right? Not? So the answer sounds something like this. Uh, speed in the liquid smaller than the speed in the A. Okay, copy the answer now. Uh. Speed of the light in liquid smaller than speed of light in the A. Okay, in the A faster lah. In the liquid more slower. Correct not? Okay, ah. Okay, the next question ask what common characteristics for bendings of light. Okay, common characteristic bending of light. Common characteristic means ah uh, here you can see here also can see one. So the common characteristic is what if bend towards the normal, right? This is a normal line. So it bend towards the normal. Line. This is also the same, but bend towards normal, right? Not? So the common characteristic is for both uh, means the line bend towards the normal. Bend towards the normal. You see the answer? Uh, bend towards the normal. Line. Okay, yeah. Okay, copy the answer. So far, can understand uh, you all. Huh? It seems like I only talk to you, know, you all, nobody asks question one. No. Uh, nobody asks question one. This is the second second time today, no, I'm using Zoom to, to have meeting. Just an afternoon talk of two hours meeting. We're tired. Now night time to we'll teach teach you all. Huh? Okay, next. Next question, huh? okay, now state the relationship between the change in the speed of light and the direction of bending of light. Uh, very difficult question. I make it smaller. Lah. When I make it smaller, you can see bigger one actually. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. It become picker, you see picker or not? Actually, I don't know what you see one, you know. Huh? I don't know what you see one. Then how my lah? Nobody answer me. You know, I shocked and really talk to myself. Only. Most of the time, I talk to myself, I ask question, I answer myself. Shocked and really, you know. Okay, come back to this question, now. Huh? State the relationship between the change in the speed. And the direction of bending. So how how to answer? 
Okay, as I told you, right? This one, the speed is two times 10 power eight, right? So here to here now, the change in the speed uh, is bigger, right? Not from three, three change to two. This one is two, right? Here is three change to 2.25. So here now, actually the speed now uh, change more. Here the speed of the light change less, right? So meaning that now, uh, the bigger the change in the speed, right? The bigger the change in the speed, what happened to the direction of bending? I don't want to see, I don't want to let you see the answer. I want you to tell me. The bigger the change in the speed of light, uh, the direction of bending, how? Uh, towards normal. No, really. Both also towards normal, but this one towards normal, this one also towards normal. Ma. This but one. More bending. Yes, all right. Very good answer. Okay. So the answer is like this. Uh, please write it down. Uh. The bigger the change in the speed of light, the bigger the change, the bigger the change in the speed of light, the bigger the change in the speed of light. The more the more the bendings of light towards normal the more the bendings of light towards normal, okay? The bigger the change in the speed of light, the more the bending of light towards the normal, okay? When you change, change in the speed is bigger, right? So it will bend more, lah. the more the bendings of light towards the normal, I got answer. Enter thumb, got answer or not? And your thumb, yes. uh, you yes, can, you read, can you read out your answer? The bigger the change in the speed of light, the more the bending of light towards normal. Yes, very good. Okay, uh, next. Name the phenomenon. Uh, what phenomenon is that? Okay, let me ask some fellow to answer. Sujo, this Sujo, la, Sujo is girl or boy. La. Sujo, are you there? Uh, Sujo? No one. Ah, Sujo, are you there? Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Gu, are you there? Mm, yes. Nicholas, uh, can you tell me? Can you answer? What is the phenomenon? The light band, uh, what is the phenomenon? Refraction. Yes, refraction. Frac, uh, not flex. No. F R A C, refraction, refractions of light, okay? Not reflection, uh, reflection is another one. It is refraction, F R A C. Okay, all right. Now, next one. Uh, read the question. This is something to do with the refractive index, I think. Diagram show a point P. Point P is here. Uh, at the bottom of swimming pool appear to be at point Q. When you see from here, now, this fellow look, looking at this point, right? So this P now, will appear shallower, it go up one, you know. Uh, this common sense, right? When you see something inside the water, now, it become nearer to you. Become shallower one, okay? Because of refraction, isn't it? Okay, now the time, complete the diagram by drawing a knife, okay? Uh, I hope in the answer, God, you don't have a here very hard for me to draw, no. Because my computer is not touch screen one, I cannot use my hand to draw. You see what or not? No diagram. Yeah, let me know. Okay, now my, then I have to draw sure. what to do. Huh? Sure. The annotation got the straight line one. You can choose which one you can, you can draw one. I also you have to use. I have to use my mouse to make it one more. <laughs> <laughs> straight line, yeah, no problem. I do, I'm not worried about straight line. I'm worried about the mouse. I use mouse to draw. Okay, I try that. Huh? Okay. First, uh, you draw a straight line. Okay. I'm, I'm using a shortcut method. Uh. 
strip line. Uh, here you have to draw dot dot dot, you know, some dotted line uh, toward this point. Okay. Uh, this is a normal. Okay. Okay, another line is go from here long to pen, right? How to draw on huh, like that? Because from tensor go up to less than it pen away from the normal, isn't it? Okay, I draw here now. Huh? Suppose we get them pen. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Put a here now, huh? Yeah, I explain only that. This one the light go up, huh? From here, draw a line here, then pen. This one pen, you know, pen away from normal. Okay. From here you draw to here and then pen. Pen, huh? Then when your eyes see in a straight line, so it becomes straight. Understand? Uh, then this one straight line off. Okay. Uh, then this thing appear to be here. Lah. Then uh, so start from here now. Nah. The light go out. Then it bend. The light, this one must bend, okay? From tensor to less than uh, it bend away from the forget about the eyes. Nah. Don't worry about the eyes. So you just draw here, bend. Then the next one is no bending one. So it's strict line. Okay. Yeah. That's why this object appear to be here. Lah. Yeah. So the the first straight line, the arrow is go down or go up. Go up. Both also go oh. up and the light go inside your eyes one. The oh, light okay. go inside your eye. Go inside your eyes one. Okay, thank you, sir. Your eyes not, not releasing the light. The light always move from the object, go into your eyes. Okay. Okay, maybe I draw, I try to draw another one here. Huh? Okay. Huh? Okay, a normal line. Okay. The light go up, uh, so first one, bend. Uh, this one bend, okay? But your eyes see in a straight line, uh, so it becomes dot, dot, dot. Uh, something like that, okay? So this one straight line. This one bend, okay? This one bend when you see the straight line, so we come here. You draw one line also can uh, like this, uh, go up, to bend. So when you see the straight line, so you become here, okay? Then uh, from here, go up, to bend. Then when you see the straight line, so it become here. So this P become here, okay? Two marks and all. Okay, ah, finish or not? All right, next one. Calculate the refractive index. So what formula you want to use to find refractive index? Okay, I'll tell you what. Use this formula. N equal big D. You yeah. by small D. Yes. Big D is real depth divided by apparent depth. Big D divided by small D. Okay, big real depth. Uh, this is real depth. Okay, big D is here. Long no? no, real depth is here, my 1.5 meter. This one is apparent depth. Apparent depth means the fake one. Uh, so it's small D. Okay, so big D divided by small D. Okay, so what answer? Refractive impacts are the answer must be more than one. 
Okay. So the answer is no, 1.5 divided by 1.1. Okay, so it's 1.36. Yeah, 1.36, no unit fun, huh? Refractive index has uh, no unit fun, okay? All right, next. Number six, okay, read the question. This is what topic uh, you see the question. What topic? Jocelyn, Jocelyn, uh, this is what topic one? Mm, from eh, water wave. Uh. Wait, uh, ah, oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> uh, from five, from five chapter, chapter one. Yes, correct. So it's wave. Water, uh, this is water, right? Water wave. Okay. Yeah. So it's from five chapter one. Okay. I tell you, uh, your, when you go back to school, uh, you all are uh, uh, unofficial news. Uh, let me tell you all. Uh, the Form 5 student will have to go back to school starting on 15 June. But this one is not confirmed one. Okay, I tell you, not confirmed one. Uh, I want to clarify here, uh, not confirmed one at all. We only hear it from some of the officer from Japatan. They, they know roughly, they know the date already. Aga Aga is a 15 June from five students, we have to go back. Okay? So you all have to get ready, la, prepare already you now. From five, no more holiday, la, and go back to school already. From five, must go back. Only from five students, because you all. Eh? Okay? Holiday, and, holiday. Huh? 15, 15 June. But not confirm one. Don't go and spread the news and not confirm one. Huh? Because in the meeting today, uh, we heard the officers say like this. Uh, okay, Aga, Aga, uh, not, not confirm. He also said not confirm one. In, in fact, uh, the ministry is uh, very worried. You know, the ministry uh, want the student to go back to school. You know, because there are many parents complain already. Son, daughter never study how. So they want they, now they want the ministry very worried. They want the student to go back to school. Yeah, to to have the normal life again. Okay. So no choice now. If if the day come, uh, the form five student we have to go back to school. Lor. We go back to school every day to wear a mask, wear a mask, go to school, and then cannot sit, cannot sit near to your friends. Never, never walk near to your friend also, you know. Remember that, you know, you must always uh, maintain the social distancing, must obey. Uh. For everyone good, uh, you have to keep a distance from your friends. We can only, we can only get close uh, with our own family members, you know. Our own family members are no problem because we already stay together so long. Uh. Once you go to the school, uh, you meet your friends, uh, right? Your friends, are, they are not staying together with you one. So cannot say too close one, you know. Okay, the virus can easily spread, okay? Most important now, uh, you wear the mask. When you wear the mask, wear the mask, uh, you have at least 75% uh, of protection already. So you cut down by 75% the virus spread to you. At least uh, you have 75% protection. Okay, no 100% protection now, nah, I tell you all, no 100% one all. Nah. Yeah. All right. 6.1 shows waterway passing through a lock. Okay, see a waterway, this, are, this is a piece of wood now. Nah. So the waterway pass through here, of course, cannot have no wave, right? Then after the wave pass through here, nah, so it, it curve a little bit. Nah. The water get curved. Here no wave, right? Go song. Then here start to curve. Then after slowly the joy back. This is what can you remember? When the water wave pass through an obstacle, so it will spread around or spread out 
So this is what phenomenon. Ah, Jocelyn, okay. remember or not? Ah, what phenomenon? Diffraction. Yes, diffraction. This is diffraction. Ah, okay. The second diagram. Second diagram show what a student standing at a corner, hearing the sound from a loudspeaker. You see, nah. This boy cannot see the loudspeaker, but he can hear. Means the sound can corner lah. The sound actually move like this, oh, ah. Move then it bend. Okay. Sound bend like that, long. When the sound hit the edge of the corner, lah, corner of the house, right? So it will change direction. Actually, this one same as this, you know. This is also direct diffraction. When you hit the corner, right? Corner is like the obstruction, lah. Right, so you start to change direction. That's why the boy can hear the sound. Cannot see, but can hear. Understand, ah? Huh? Okay, now, question. What happened to the water after pass around the lock? And what happened to the wave, the water wave and the sound wave? Lah? Passing around the lock and the corner of the building, what happened to them? What happened to the water and what happened to the sound? So how to answer? Okay, now you see the answer, okay? So the answer is the spread out. The keyword is spread out. The, okay, you know the definition of diffraction, right? The spreading of the wave when they pass through a gap or round over an obstacle. Do you remember that? You cannot remember, you jot it down. Uh, definition of diffraction. Uh. The spreading, spreading of the wave, this word uh, spread out. The spreading of the wave, when it pass through a gap, or round over an obstacle, okay? That is the definition of diffraction. Uh. So what happened is, so they spread out. Yeah. The next question asks what? What happened to the amplitude? Ah, the amplitude and explain your answer. Do you remember or not? Under diffraction, now ah, what are the things will change? What are the things will not change? Do you remember on the test you offer? Ah? Under diffraction, ah, what will change? What will not change? Ah? Let me call someone to understand, to answer. Okay. Not everyone very quiet only. Quiet, I don't know whether you listen or not. Ah, poor swimming. Now, I mean, I see your name already. Poor swimming. Poor swimming? Ah, uh, yeah. Poor <laughs> swimming, ah, can you tell me, la, under diffraction, la, what other thing will change there? Um, um, you see this one move like this. After that, it move here. So what is what changed already? Uh, this one moves in a straight line. Then after that, change direction. Direction uh, of propagation. Direction. Change in the direction. Correct not? Yeah. Direction change my see I move and then change direction now. So the direction changes. Can I not here also change direction, ma? So direction changes. What else? Velocity. Velocity will change, ah. Uh, after diffraction, with how the velocity change? Yes, correct, uh, Velocity change because of the direction change, uh, because it's vector quantity, right? Vector quantity got direction one. Okay. And uh, what does not change? Frequency not change, isn't it? Speed. Speed also not change. Frequency not change. Lambda got change or not? Uh, no. Uh, lambda no change. Huh? And one more thing will change is what? Start with the A one. Amplitude. Ah, the amplitude. Amplitude will decrease. So remember that. Amplitude decreases. It will decrease, huh, you know. Okay, so now what happened to the amplitude? So the answer decreases. Lah. Explain your answer so you see the answer. 
amplitude decrease because energy of the wave spread out to cover bigger area. Okay. Copy the answer now. Nah. The amplitude decreases. The reason is because energy, the energy of the wave spread out to cover bigger area. So the energy becomes less energy now. Nah. Because you need to cover bigger area, right? So the energy becomes less. Okay. Uh, so fast 10 o'clock already. I think we finish this question, then we stop. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Name the wave phenomenon. Okay, just one shot, we see all the all the question, then we see the answer. Uh -huh. Okay, one shot, see all the question. Uh -huh. What is a wave phenomenon? Is diffraction, correct not? What will happen to the speed of wave after pass through the log? The speed we say never change just now, isn't it? Yeah. Referring to diagram 6.1, what will happen to the floating object at PQ? Uh, this question, uh, you have to read again. Uh. What happened to the object in the 6.1 uh, after pass at P and Q? Okay, you see the diagram. When the object is here, what happened? When the object is here, what happened? Okay, you see here. Uh, here has no wave. No wave means that this object will not move. When the object hiding here, uh, the object is not moving. Uh, because no wave, uh, no energy here. But here got wave. So this object will move. This object will move up. Because the wave uh, it will move up, down, up, down like that. But this object will not move because here no, no wave. Okay, uh? Okay, next one. Name one other wave phenomenon. Okay, you see this diagram. Uh, beside diffraction, uh, what else? What happened? Eh? Beside diffraction, there's another one happened. No. Okay, check the answer. Uh. The phenomenon is diffraction. Speed, no changes. Vibrate. This one is P. At P, this one is at P1. Uh. At P, the object will vibrate, okay? At Q, the object remains stationary. Okay? And last, another phenomenon happen is reflection. Reflection, because when you hit the, hit the wooden block, right? So you get reflection, re reflected, okay? Another thing can happen is reflection. Nah. When you hit the wall, also you get reflection, right? Not? When you hit the wooden block, also you get reflected, okay? Yeah. Got it? Got all the answer already? One. Okay, I think finish already. Huh? Okay, I think I have to stop here for tonight. Yeah. So everyone very happy already now. Huh? So when finish, are you all very happy? Okay. Anyone want to ask any question or not? Any any question to ask? I see someone type something here. I see what is that. Don't be so lazy, Harry Young. Ah, Harry Young, why you say I'm I'm very lazy? Yeah. <laughs> joking, joking. Joking. Okay, lah. Huh? Anyone? Any more question to ask? Uh, uh, next week, uh, Tuesday, no tuition uh, because it's uh, Hari Raya, uh, Hari Raya holiday. So Monday, Tuesday, no tuition. Uh, only one, only one, one, only one class only now. Uh, next week, uh, Thursday only. Only Thursday, tuition as usual. Tuesday, don't have. Okay? Okay, uh? So for those who are celebrating uh, Hari Raya, Hanis, are you still here? No, I, are you here? Yes, sir. Hanis, yes. are there? Uh? Yes. No, I, are there? Okay, yes. selamat, selamat Hari Raya. Nah. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, sir. Any more friends here? Not your friend? I think there are only two of you here, right? Mm. Yeah. Your other friend, I think not here. Like. Let me see if you're not here or not. No, I think only two of you only. Huh? Yang lain semua sudah raya begini. Okay, so enjoy your Hari Raya. For, yes, who want to say something? 
for those who are not celebrating Hari Raya one, okay, enjoy your holiday, okay? Enjoy your holiday, take good care of yourself, right? If you are too boring and nothing to do, right? So study also lah. Yeah? If nothing to do, then study, you understand? Yeah? I remember, you know, don't travel too often, okay? If if not necessary, uh, you don't travel. Don't travel, don't go to the place uh, where there's uh, too many people, okay? Especially, uh, don't go and uh, visit your friends, you know? Visit your friends is very dangerous, okay? Uh, the best uh, you stay home only. Like Tan Sri Mugudin say, stay at home. Okay, don't go any place. Dudu di rumah diam diam. Okay. Ah, take good care of yourself, huh? You see the case, I know one thing I want to talk to you all. The number of confirmed cases today, lah, gone up, you know, gone up to I think 50 cases again. But one day dropped to I think only about 12 cases. Now it gone up. Two days, 30 something, 30 something. Then today, lah, 50. Then people will say, you know, after Hari Raya, nah, it will go up. Because during Hari Raya time, nah, many people travel, you know. Malay travel, the Chinese fellow also go and travel. But then become problem. Not only Muslim people, you travel, the Chinese Indian fellow also, they go and travel. Huh? They say the police say, you all cannot travel, you know, stay at home, okay? Then people say, after Raya, if, if the case number of cases go up, nah, Bye bye, you all cannot go to school. Huh? Cannot go back to school already. Huh? Okay, lah. so I think I'm talking too much already. Lah, huh? Okay, so remember lah, next week, Thursday night, only got tuition. Lah, okay, so thank you very much. Okay, so I see you again. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Uh, Thank you, sir. Okay, bye bye. So bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, handsome teacher. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, sir, sir, sir. Sir, yeah. can I ask you something? Ah. Uh. Like, like, our class, ah, after after our school is over, our class, has it got all the whole from four and from five levels? No, no, no. Ah, that class is just that. Yes. Ah, that class is just that. From four and from five. From four and from five, the curtain. Oh, just that's it. That's it. What? From four, there you count one, ma. Hmm, one chapter. From four, from five, there's seven chapter. Oh, you're not in the house, ah. Don't do this. Don't do this. That 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 guy who started to count, you know, ma. You need to pay attention. Huh? Really? Really? Ah, he started to count. Every person counts. Ah, he counts for a while. 有吗？不多，我老诶。我老师讲是考考买完跟是加拉先弄完的。老师，那读书啦，所以你们要读书啦，知道吗？啊，那嘛 ，Harry， 哪里都不要去啦，最好是不要出门，知道吗？在家读书，知道吗？哎，好文，你不要讲我，好文，你自己先啊。我操！哎，那个画画的是谁呀，杨老师？周老师谁 ？Harry 老师吧？你们自己的吧？你们自己去看那个 video 咯，上一上一课那个 video 啊，画黑那边咯，我的 point， 我的 mouse 指去那边啊，那个名字有跑出来的。是嘞，是 Sir David 的吧？不是，不是啦，所以就你啦 ，Sir David。是啊，是。你自己看咯，反正。不要不要再做了啦，不要这样子弄啦，知道吗？哎呦，好问，懂吗？好问。他在讲，我老师在讲你，你画。说嗨，哎，我很多个 customer 又来了哦，我上天牛西又来了，来喽。对啦哈，很不幸啊，那个名字跑出来了嘛。哈哈哈哈哈哈。因为我我 click 那个 show 那个 mini 嘛，他的名字会出来的。OK， 不用急啦，算了，拜拜拜拜 ，OK， 拜拜拜拜拜拜。